your Dryer Buzz on SoundCloud and YouTube to hear snippets from the show. It's all about the buzz. The Dryer Buzz. On News and Talk 1380. W-A-O-K. This is Martin Pratt, a.k.a. I Love Black Women. I-L-U-V Black Women. On Twitter and everywhere else. I love listening to Dryer Buzz on W-A-O-K. Call us at 404-892-2703. On News and Talk 1380. W-A-O-K. All right, y'all, we're back with Dryer Buzz on WAOK, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Definitely check out the YouTube channel. I got to send a shout out over to uh, Cafe Circle. They invited us over to Don with the Chef. They've got a new fair over there. What new, is this? New menu. Wait, is, that Cafe, is that Cafe Circle? Is that tonight? You oh. know, normally we do have somewhere oh. to go for dinner, but uh, I kind of partake to partook of that this week and you can go to her <laughs> go to the you can definitely go to the youtube channel and see what the chef prepared and the, and the message he sent out there about uh you guys gotta come over and check it out i mean it was it was an exciting night and they've got some they've got some good food good flavor oh, yeah. over there. Mm-hmm. and uh, one yeah, of the reasons is great. because as part of blogging in the city i'm doing a campaign of telling a uh, blogging about what's what's on this route of the streetcar streetcar is coming mm-hmm. and so i've been going out and visiting businesses and we're blogging about the business that are on the streetcar or, or even two streets over from the streetcar because people need to know how to navigate it. And one of the things that I love to do uh, as blogging about Atlanta for the past 12 years is, is get people to get out and enjoy the city more. We have a beautiful mm-hmm. city, great business owners. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, you know, I wish people would seek out more women because you always find me tweeting about um, what we need to do as women because we just seem to kind of go around without a consciousness that we need to see we need to be working hard to put more women on the Forbes list yeah yeah you know totally. we and and I get in I get invites all the time uh invited to brunch this or lunch that network this network that and even women groups they go to places that aren't owned by women right. you know we there's something in us that just doesn't seek us out and I think too it comes from again going back to your upbringing you saw your aunties bickering and arguing um you you know you have friends outside and your mother may have said you know something negative about them I mean you mm-hmm. just never know what it is and one thing for me like I hug I didn't get around to her but I, I, I try to do that because you never know what that hug may do for somebody, somebody now right. I wasn't a hugger exactly. growing up and then mm. my cousin used to hug me all the time and it was like oh, okay I guess but now mm-hmm. it's like a given you know all that hand shaking unless we it's a contract now I get that we might not want to hug on a contract right. but I'm just saying we have to to embrace each other exactly. and how many women do you know like you're a blogger or writer and I go I don't write but you know what I know a good writer and put them on the forefront exactly. without feeling like you're missing out on something now, if you ask for an event planner recommend me mm-hmm. but if you're asking for a radio host or if you're asking for a writer I do that all the time I am a connector <laughs> there you go yeah, and, there you go. and that's what I tell people when I'm when I'm on my social media it's like that's what I'm doing all day that's literally what I do all day is make referrals I get calls all day long I'm I'm doing this in the city how do I get to this how do I get to that and I was I was when I'm thinking about the show even driving in today I was thinking about hitting up my friends over at the uh Raphael Baker agency it's like you know what we need to probably go over there I was thinking I was thinking about the lunch we had what I was thinking about but then I was thinking about we need to go over there and and do a, a different kind of networking because mm-hmm. I went to a couple of networkings this week and last week and and I just left and my spirit was just you didn't get nothing from torn it torn because mm-hmm. one one of the events I was at and I noticed this everywhere I go and I talk about it all the time it's like the minute there's a break the men they they zoom into mm-hmm. each other. And the women are sitting, they don't want to make eye contact, they don't want to, you know, talk, you know. They and when I go to a place, I'm I'm usually ready from the parking lot. And right. I, I blog about this all the time. If you can't be nice from the parking lot, don't wait till we get inside and you discover who I am. Right. And then you, you all need to go you talk all to really and you just park <laughs> right next to me and wouldn't even speak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Realizing we were going you had to know we were going to the same place. You know what I think mm-hmm. happens in networking event people miss and some people do it. Like for me when I do events, mm-hmm. I, I like to call them so- social gatherings mm-hmm. because the thing is it is sometimes people are uncomfortable with going up, you're shy or whatever. It's like get over it. But still 
when for me, if I know you, it's like, hey, this is such a so. Mm-hmm. She does this. Exactly. I make people, you, make you know, connect, mm-hmm. give people the opportunity to do a one minute elevator pitch. You know, it kind of guide them. And I mean, sometimes that's what we have to right. do. If you yes. if you're in business, you have to be social. But I get it that some people mm-hmm. don't. That's right. why I'm the social enthusiast. Right. And sometimes you can be real good in your business, mm-hmm. just not a good spokesperson exactly. for your business. So right. put. Find somebody who can really speak on your business. An ambassador. If you if you're not exactly. comfortable answering those questions, and I have a there's a, a page in my book, Twenty Seven Answers to Create Buzz. I have uh, reasons you should not network. If you don't like strangers walking up to you, <laughs> don't do don't it. network. Right. Don't do it because you could be real good in your business and making your money, but. If you don't like engaging like that, then don't don't go up to the networks because you you messing up somebody else's mm-hmm. opportunity. And I just feel like that we as women, we just we just we just don't get it. Mm-hmm. We don't get it. And but we wanted to also talk about women who are doing it right. And I know and I'm a little I got a little anxiety right now because tomorrow is Monday morning. So a lot of these things, <laughs> I say Monday morning because on the news cycle, I'm worried. I'm really worried about the news cycle. Mm. Um, this week was kind of a slow news cycle. There were some things, even coming off the election. I'm real concerned the fact that we came off the election because we had an uh, unprecedented number of women in Georgia on the ballot this year. Mm-hmm. And uh, and Republicans, you keep hearing that Republicans won. We even had some women to win on the Republicans. And I, I remember posting on Shelly Winter's page. He he put out there the, the face of Republicans. I said, yeah, it's the face in victory. Had they lost, we wouldn't we they wouldn't be showing all these women who right. won on the Republican mm-hmm. side, you know, because mm-hmm. really they didn't make us all aware of these women who were running on the Republican side during the election. Mm-hmm. Right. So. It's just something about it. Let's just go into talking about Michelle. Michelle Obama has two years left as the first lady. Right. Uh, and usually we find out what their plan, because they have a platform after they leave the White House. If you remember Barbara Bush, uh, was it Barbara? No. What was the second Bush wife name? I forget. Oh, um. Not right. Nobody even knows I, Right. right. It's That's like so her. Who was Because I, I never. Twice. You never really. Right. It was Barbara. You like, never uh, know. They all You never the same, really saw, saw her. I'm going to show That's, 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 that's Big Bush's wife. Oh, right. Okay. So. But her wife. platform was to work with Iranian women uh-huh. after the office. So what we're worried about now, are we worried about it? We're worried about what Michelle Obama's plan, because she now has to give her, us her after the White House platform. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. She was supposed to be for military families while she was in the White House. And then, of course, the whole move movement with the kids, mm-hmm. the overweight kids and the diet and the food and all that. So now we have to look and find out what's going to be her out of the White House platform. I would have loved for it. I would have really loved to see her deal with more health issues. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, especially the fact that women are dying from heart disease. I'm oh. so concerned about heart disease right now. Uh, cancer. All right. of those things. We didn't see that come out of the White House. So what Laura Bush. Oh, Laura. Laura. <laughs> Thanks so much, caller. Uh, because you. we didn't see, because what we found out is during her time in the White House, she might have been dealing with some health issues and they didn't really want nobody to know. Mm-hmm. So we didn't see her out. But w- her platform for leaving office was that she was she's helping women outside of this country. We've seen Barack Obama now. He's been, we, people thought, told us to wait to end his second term. He's going to do something for black people. <laughs> but now we see he's going to spend this next two years doing something for immigration, mm-hmm. immigrants. Mm-hmm. Yep. So what are we as women uh, expecting? And we don't want to say too much because some of us are trying to get an invite to the White House right. correspondence <laughs> dinner. I love you, Michelle. <laughs> exactly. Because we, we only got two years ago to this White House correspondence dinner where Michelle is there. But what should be her platform for leaving uh, the White House and the image of women? What is it? What is it going to say? And think about the fact are we willing to now it's time to jump on this bandwagon for Hillary if she's going to jump in and if not Hillary uh Christie's wife uh who are some of the others that we're looking at the candidates are coming out we have really got to do more for women uh in this political space all right are you listening to dryer buzz on WLK use the hashtag dryer buzz on WLK we're going to jump on Instagram and Twitter during this break send us some comments and call in 404 492-2703 892-2703 Draw your buzz on WAOK Hashtag Here She Buzz Get the buzz behind the buzz With Yolanda Lattimore With Dryer Buzz On News and Talk 1380 WAOK
us at 404-892-2703 on News and Talk 1380 WAOK. News and Talk 1380 WAOK. Get Dryer Buzz on SoundCloud and YouTube to hear snippets from the show. It's all about the buzz. The Dryer Buzz on News and Talk 1380 WAOK. Call us at 404-892-2703 on News and Talk 1380 WAOK. All right, you're back. Yolanda, Dryer Buzz, at Dryer Buzz. And uh, we put out our, our Twitter comment. We're going to engage with that uh, after the show. We're asking, uh, would you, could you? If a man said to you that he was not gay no more, would you, could you? And there's a there's a lot of conversation going on with this because people saying, you know, it, it's, he, he, let me, let, see, I always take the conversation in a whole other direction. See, there's a reason why there's such a divide between pride events. That's why you have your national pride <laughs> event, and that's why you have your black pride Gay event. Black because pride. because black folk be LGBT. asking, exactly, <laughs> black folk be asking too many probing questions. <laughs> I pro, uh, no pun intended. We take we take the conversation to a whole other level. We, when it comes to homosexuality, we usually want to know something more. And what happened whenever things like this come up, like this guy is literally going to church, because you have your your divide between uh, church and homosexuality. Apparently the black church is supposed to be, you know, the worst thing for sexuality and homosexuality. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's just apparently something not being discussed. Uh, something that's supposed to be naturally a part of us. And a lot of people say it's it's real big in the church, but they don't want to talk about it. People were saying even the pastor that had him to do this might even been, be gay himself. I don't, all this stuff is alleged, alleged mm-hmm. but it comes back to why African-Americans are often kind of get a lot of pushback when it comes to talking about gay topics, especially gay marriage, you know. It's, it's just not something that we're involved in. And when it comes to, like, the two pride events, the, the rift between the pride events is simply because of there is a belief that homosexuality is different for black folk. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that they just is something... Everything to me roots back to childhood. I'm sorry. Because I, I you, agree you think with you about on that. It, I when, agree. When the other have problem shootings at school or whatever, mm-hmm. they're taught to deal with your feelings. Mm-hmm. They get them therapists and everything. We as African Americans, some of us, not Figure everybody, are taught like <laughs> man up, you know, deal it's a whole with different it. Narrative. You don't get I'm therapy. Beat you if you lose. Exactly. Yeah. You don't get therapy. <laughs> Your mama take you back out there and make you fight and you better win. <laughs> exactly. So I'm saying that could, you know, contribute to when you get older and now we don't want to sit down and have those hard conversations. And mm-hmm. I think that in the church is they try to make it seem like we accept it because they're people too and they have to deal with it and that's fine. But now, you know, you got men like that guy coming up and saying he's not gay no more and making a big deal out of it. And right, it's like, we right. can't do this hush hush a little bit. It, <laughs> it, it, it seems to open up wounds. It opens up conversations that we don't want to have because mm-hmm. we've got several people out there that will tell you that they're not gay no more. Mm-hmm. Uh, Donnie McClurkin, which you threw out there, mm-hmm. uh, be ni- night rider, <laughs> writer, be, I want to say night rider, be night writer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now, what do, what do you think? I mean, <laughs> Johnny McClurkin said he's not getting more, but he ain't had he ain't had nobody's household yet either. Exactly, and you know, just growing <laughs> that's, I'm up. I'm sorry, with that's that. just a big thing with right. me. Like, <laughs> where's, where's your family? Your, where your kids at? I, you know, we still see the lisp. You still hear the lisp at the concerts. You know, right. I don't never. I don't I honestly don't think that. And he comes from a generation. You, wait, wait, wait. The men. What did the she men say? You them. still hear the, the lisp, lisp at the concerts. <laughs> Millenn- Extra S's. Miss Millennial, what does that mean? <laughs> well, you know, well, even if you play the video, you hear, I ain't, I ain't, I, I want women's now, yeah, you know, I, I ain't with no oh, men's I thought, no I more. You were talking the about plural S. <laughs> Using but, the but no, you totally still hear it in his voice, but I'm not saying that that doesn't mean okay. that he hasn't turned over, turned over a new leaf. But why but does that, why, and here's the thing, and this is why I say there's a different conversation about homosexuality with us black folk. <laughs> why does the way he speak or his mannerisms means that he's gay? You because know, he was gay. Yeah, because he was. He was. He, he was. not gay no more. <laughs> yeah, but then, but like still, you say, that's hard to lose, I guess. It, it is. And honestly, I, I I truthfully don't believe that Donnie McClurkin has totally turned over a new leaf. Uh, new, new leaf. I, I don't believe that. I mean, and that's just, do you that's think just it's, me. But do you think it's possible? Because there are some who say that uh, you can pray the gay away. You can. You can. I'm sure that there's people out there that have been delivered, but delivered, delivered. But I think <laughs> that it makes it makes the church look bad. It puts them in a misconstrued light because mm-hmm. you're just supposed to be accepting and love is just, you know, right. I accept so the question keep no comes, records are wrong. You know, 
you know, I love you unconditionally, you know, mm-hmm. it kind of misconstrues their message as well. Right. So it just brings back the point. Why was this an, part of the agenda for Church and God in Christ at their convention? Mm-hmm. It, 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 like you say, it goes back to was this a plot? Stage, yeah, yeah. It was a stage for them to do that. Like, okay, we're going to go on. Right. We're going to put pimp, it on the internet. Preacher.com says it, <laughs> and, and y'all go to their <laughs> website. <laughs> Kev, to Kevin, call in 404-892-2703. Pimp now. Preacher. Yeah, go to PimpPreacher.com. Uh-huh. And they, they, they itemize uh, the staging and some other things and what that every year at this convention apparently there's supposed to be something that's supposed to be socially trending mm-hmm. and so because you know everybody's going for that that juggler that everybody wants to be be trending everybody yeah. wants to mm-hmm. hashtag break the internet you right know? but why can't we ever break the internet on the positive stuff and it messes it up because if someone wants to you like really be delivered because i believe Anything is possible exactly. with God. Let's mm-hmm. say that. Oh, yeah. So you could be just totally flo- uh, full blown gay and then turn over. The mm-hmm. challenge is who gonna want to date you? Because <laughs> after a while, I'm like, when well, I'm thinking about what you're and, doing, right. but we don't need to idolize <laughs> right. it on TV. No. Right. But he, and here's the other theatrics. part of that is, and you said it, you alluded to it a while ago, is that when mainstream does it, because there have been mainstream cases and stories and Dateline specials and all kind of stuff. Um, but when it's us, there's something about a, a news story or a story going straight for our emotion. We don't get to deal with the, the intellect of it or the facts of it. It's always something when they want it, when they want the black audience, it's always them going for our emotion. We're supposed to get emotional over this, you know. Yeah, because I, it's almost mm-hmm. like they, you know how, and I hate to say it this way, and this is just a, a, an opinion, is how we're always bickering and we gossiping. And I'm not saying it's not the other nationalities, mm-hmm. but it's something about us that they know the neck rolling or the mm-hmm. gossip and girl, mm-hmm. you know that. So when yeah. it happens with us, it's like, oh, we got something to capitalize we, off cause of. Because we would carry a story for a week, oh, yeah. whereas mainstream, you know, it's, there's that, the news cycle for that day, and at the end of the day, they're going to make sure it's buried, Bam. it's done with it. But yeah. for us, it'll go on for a week. I mean, here we can talk about this <laughs> as part of the show on Sunday. Yeah. It happened early on early on during during the week. But okay. On the on the positive we wanted to kind of go in on the positive side. I think what we do is keep you guys over for one more second because I really want to talk about the uh politics and the elections because I remember during the last election before this midterm, uh when Republicans had major losses, that next morning they were on C SPAN I mean, they stayed up throughout the night. Here's our agenda. Here's how we're going to take the next election. We haven't seen that from independents or Democrats. Mm-hmm. And like I said, we had major number of women on the ballot. Hillary is supposed to throw her hat in at any moment. Okay. Uh, we've got two years left again with Michelle Obama. What does that look like as women, as American women? Because we know that the platform right now is going to be all about immigrants. We've got kids that need to be educated. Miss B. Knight Ryder has, has relocated to D.C. <laughs> so yeah. what 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 is our expectation? I mean, what's our agenda? What what should be our agenda right now? Well, like you were saying earlier, you know, with health being her her agenda, I'm really we hope. all we hope. Um, I really hope that she pushes, you know, the whole um, food ban, the junk food ban. I'm mm-hmm. loving that because mm-hmm. people don't understand that the things that we put in our food, we put in our bodies, and it's really and driving the health issues. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's really causing us to just die off, and nobody is even no one is putting the two together. So I can appreciate Michelle Obama going mm-hmm. forth with the health, the junk food ban, and trying to get us back onto a healthier way of living because honestly if we're no good to ourselves we're no good to anyone mm-hmm. else so and a lot that has come out of this administration i mean one of the things i follow uh, as a google alert is obama and billions because you know you often see that this administration not just the, uh, president obama himself but this administration uh has literally said that it's just not worth in reinvesting in the american because there's no uh, investing in the Ameri- americans because there's no return on the investment mm. Uh, and so that's why we see and hear a lot about uh, immigration. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and he cannot leave the White House without having had some kind of impact on, quote, unquote, the middle class. If you remember, he ran on the platform about the middle class. Right. And the middle class has suffered uh with him being in office Mm -hmm. so now he's got to really put what his administration i don't want to say him personally but his administration has really got to do something about the middle class the middle class um something that has happened in this election is bread we've learned terms like breadwinning women you know (laughs) women were able to stay employed 
where men spent years unemployed during this administration. Women were able to progress. They were able to stay employed. Women are starting most of the businesses, the startups, right. the businesses mm-hmm. that we have now are women. So we're making strike. We don't. We just don't see it because uh, when they go into these news and see, here comes my media anxiety is. Um, when we all head home tonight and, and get ready to turn it in, uh, people are going to be waking up. The people who are going to set the narrative for tomorrow are start waking up about three o'clock in the morning. And they're going to set the narrative tomorrow morning um, for where we are in this country. And that it bothers me because most of them who are writing this news and delivering this news look like us mm-hmm. women, uh, brown women, but yet come 11 o'clock tomorrow no one will have learned anything about us i'm distraught over that and i'll tell you more on dry your buzz on w-a-o-k hi this is fontaine lewis from jazz and jokes atlanta if i'm not hosting an event i'm looking to dry our buzz to see what's happening in the streets of atlanta on news talk 1380 w-a-o-k news and talk 1380 w-a-o-k breaking news Call us at 404-892-2703 on News and Talk 1380, WAOK. All right, Dryer Buzz on WAOK. You should be at dryerbuzz.com because we're going to be talking after the show. We put out one question. Uh, would you, could you, if, if a man said to you he was not gay no more, ladies, would you, could you, have you, did you? <laughs> <laughs> because apparently, because no. <laughs> I remember we were, we were watching and, and talking about this week, and I don't, and see, this is where I think we go wrong because, we think that mannerisms and behaviors equate to gay. Like everybody was watching that that show, The Chrisleys, mm-hmm. and I oh, just yeah. feel like he's just not gay no more. <laughs> and and now it's like on my brain. It's like okay, not because he has his second wife mm-hmm. and a family, but he, his mannerisms is like you can just tell he is like the mother in this family. But it's something totally. about those feminine mannerisms that uh, could be like, kind of turn off. I say, off-ish. but folks is coming at eyebrow. us saying that we Please. are wrong for that. Uh, we, ladies, we are wrong for that. That's something we just gonna have to get over. I have to work on that. Yeah, we gotta I, work I'm gonna have to. This, you wrong for that. Okay. Gosh, and I judge. It, it's part of that whole. <laughs> it's part of that whole hashtag covering. Uh, we did an episode on this. There's a book out there by uh, Kenji Yoshino. I think I'm probably saying that wrong, but there is a book out there, and it's called Covering, and it talks about uh, the assault on our civil rights, mm-hmm. and basically what he says, and we can probably find some Kenji out there i know she's looking at some wendy williams stuff but kenji says that women it's women that's holding women back it's gays that's holding gays back you know we think it's it's mainstream and white males and all that kind of stuff but no we're holding each other back Mm -hmm. i I believe there's some validity in that because with women that's what i'm saying is that Mm -hmm. depending on the upbringing and everything it's like we don't some of us don't support each other. You right. know, I mean, well, mean I girls, asked, what was complex? The, here was the challenge during the break um, in this last segment of our debate. And you guys can jump on the phone. I'm going to challenge you to 404-892-2703. Those of you that are over here on Instagram, loving and enjoying the show uh, and also at dryerbus.com. I'm going to challenge you too. I asked the ladies during the break to go and find the women who were winning this week. They grabbed their phones and they, they've been scrolling ever since. And neither one of them went to dryerbuzz.com, <laughs> uh, which is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna see, I think my tablet, I need to get back on the, get back on the Wi-Fi. Well, but I'm going to go more than one, share with us. Yeah. I'm going to go to dryerbuzz.com. And, I, and as you know, at the top of Dryer Buzz, you have, well, I mean, both of you are winning because we invited you on the show. So salute to you. But why is it that, now, we said at the beginning of the show, you're not going to see a story in mainstream media of a woman unless she is lying, dying, crying, flying off the handle or naked. We talked about the fact that Kim Kardashian was naked and hashtag she did break the Internet this week because I was like, dang, Instagram is real slow because everybody was out there posting it. And of course, I made it my business to go out and mark all of these photos inappropriate because <laughs> I just think that we should. Uh, I don't mind nudity. 
Uh, but it is it, it's I'm told that it cannot be on social media. Yeah. There is a link there that says if it's inappropriate, because even though Kim wants it to be art and classy, this was not classic art. As a matter of fact, even the Met, uh, we, we hear all the time about the Met Gala, mm -hmm. Metropolitan Art. They even, trying to spark some interest, went to one of the statues in the art museum and took a picture of the behind, the butt, and posted it and said that, hey, we can, be, we can break the internet like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Uh, you That's posting wild. a naked statue, trying to get in on it, trying to get people to move from ratchet to classy. <laughs> I'm like, really, really, art gallery. She's really got a team pulling forward. What can I say? Kim has pull. Okay, don't don't try to change the subject. Be <laughs> night, be night rider. <laughs> Who are your winners? Uh, where where are women <laughs> winning this week? Dead air. <laughs> Dead air. Okay, wait. Look, everybody's saying, well, tell yours. I mean, because this is something I, I blog about every day, and uh, I'm trying to do it on my on my phone. Let me go. I'm going to go and click the hashtag. I mean, click the uh, heading I have here that, that went to Instagram. Everything going to Instagram. Right. Let it, me see. I got nothing. Yeah, this is, I, you, I got nothing, too. And it's ladies, sad. no. It's no, you can't. You're not allowed to say I got okay. nothing. Boss New. Stacey J uh, has is the owner and proprietor of Boss News? No, 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 no. no? I'm not the owner. Okay. I was just nominated. It's the magazine is owned oh, by okay. a young lady named Tamara. Okay. So, uh, so who are some of the 15? 15, 15 because you you said the award ceremony is? Is December 4th. Is December 4th. And who are some of the ladies while I pull up? Dryerbuzz.com. You know what? I only know a few names. I know their faces. You have But now this was a competition, you said. Well, I don't believe we're competing. Okay. I don't like to think of it as competing. Because you said you had to do the, you, did you have to do the video or you just kind of did a I video did to introduce yourself? I just did it to introduce myself because okay. you're Because you asking, take it to another level. I always take it to another level. There you level. go. Okay. But you're asking people to vote for you that don't know you. So, you you know, sometimes people don't want to do things, I mean, just because you asked them to. So I wanted to give them a little background about myself and then mm -hmm. let them make that decision. So it is a, a voting process. So who gets the most vo votes, but it also is based off of um, your business and how many people are you inspiring? And your business, you again, is? Lifestyle management. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Lifestyle management and event planning. Okay. Um, but there are some other, you know, you know, as women, we got a lot of different things we do. But the foundation for everything I do is inspiration, mm -hmm. you know, that engagement and what you leave with people as well as that experience. So these women, um, uh, one lady has a app company. Another lady's a real estate agent. You have a marketing company. You have different women from different genres of uh, the industry that are being nominated. So that's why I'm saying, yeah, we all want to win or whatever. But I feel like I'm a winner anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. um, um, and again, this is a platform for whatever else I'm supposed to do. Right. Okay. And B Night Rider, did you come up with the winner? I, I you know, I, I didn't. I didn't. See, I think this all is, of them this are on why that list. I think all yeah, of them we, are on that we list. Gonna keep, we're going to keep them on while they continue to search. But this is why we need this show because we need to talk about this. You should never, ever be at a point where you can't say that there were women winners. I mean, we have to ask ourselves, even though the Aaliyah movie failed, is Wendy Williams a winner? for producing that content and working with, with Life, Lifetime. Um, you know I, what? Oh, go I'm ahead. sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. Well, I'll say, you know, because I did a story Look, on Angela. Y'all see on Buzz over there. I, <laughs> I did a story on Angela Bassett a week ago for Sister to Sister magazine about, you know, her biopic and everything. And you're winning because you're now a contributor, right, contributing oh, yes, writer yes, for yeah. Sister yeah. to Sister. So that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so I did the story on Angela Bassett, and I think that she's winning this week. And, you know, I'll piggyback. Because she is winning this week because what we don't know the date yet that the Whit Whitney movie will air. Mm -hmm. But the Whitney movie is coming behind all of this hoopla over the Aaliyah movie. Mm -hmm. And one of the things wh where I'm going with this is, is I also have sat down and talked about Hollywood with Angela Bassett. Not that I want to call Angela like I'm on first name <laughs> basis, but she gives the most amazing thought processes about Hollywood and how she chooses her movie. So when we come back, we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about why is it that we can't find any winners. And I'm going to give you some winners. Okay, because you were doing <laughs> like this. So I, I don't know. But here's the thing. Tomorrow morning, the narrative is we we don't know yet what the narrative is going to be. If there is a woman in the narrative, I want you to ask yourself, is she lying? Is she dying? Is she crying? Is she naked? 
And then I want you to look at the fact that on ABC we have Robin Roberts. Uh, on uh, today's show, we have we have black females that are going to deliver us this news. Four hours into the day, we and you can't even say by the end of the day. Four hours into the morning news, we will not have learned anything about winning women. And they are out there. They have amazing stories. Go to Dryer Buzz. And because of the weekend, we got we got all our hair postings right there. So I'm, I'm scrolling as well. But I know that there have been some, some beautiful stories out there. We're going to talk about that. We're going to give you some winning women when we come back with more Dryer Buzz on WAOK. Get Dryer Buzz on SoundCloud and YouTube to hear snippets from the show. It's all about the buzz. The Dryer Buzz. On News and Talk 1380, WAOK. Call us at 404-892-2703. On News and Talk 1380, WAOK. Celebrate Thanksgiving. This is Dr. Charles H. Jackson, Sr. of the Impact Project, encouraging you to be vocal, victorious over cancer and your life, and also listen to The Buzz on News and Talk 1380 WAOK. Call us at 404-892-2703 on News and Talk 1380 WAOK. Welcome to back to Dry Your Buzz on WAOK. I can't hear myself. What are you Unplug. I look. It done got so wild and rough up in here. I'm <laughs> unplugged. My earring is down here on the floor. So I just got to wonder Lord what Jesus. what did I right. do just in that break it, right Jesus. there? That's anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> fix it, Jesus. There I told you because I have I have extra. <laughs> she said fix it, Jesus. <laughs> my earrings on the floor, so you know we got live and passionate up in here because I was getting on my ladies because. One of the things that we wanted to go out on the go out in the show is I was asking for some winners and everybody was saying it's like I, I got nothing but that's part of my anxiety because as a blogger I got into the blogging space because I wanted every time that we are interacting in this space that we see ourselves that we know uh, our story is being told mm-hmm. and one of the things that I try to do at Dryer Buzz is to tell our story. And uh, so, you know, that's just, we we should always be able to recall the winners. They're there because right. after a little bit of working and digging, we found <laughs> right. it. I'm, I, I know Stacy has a couple, but B. Knight Rider talked about the fact that you are now a contributing writer for Sister to Sister. That's a win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you just interviewed Angela. No, you did a story on well, Angela Bassett, which mm-hmm. you need to get to her right now because we need to know how she feels about this Aaliyah fail and is she more concerned mm. about this movie. So that's a win. But that was in the background of your mind. Right. I need for that. Remember I talked about my, my women and their our mind's eye. Mm-hmm. That needs to be in the forefront. We've got to bring us back to the forefront. Right. Stacy, totally. scrolling away over there, you yeah. were able to find I a was couple looking. of winners. I was okay. Who, um, who we got? Okay. Excuse me if I butcher her name. Gugu Mabatha. Mabatha Raw from Beyond the Lights. Right. I didn't get to see it, but, you know, looking at the previews and kind of doing the movie at some of the reviews. This weekend. It did. Mm-hmm. And I like the storyline. One, let's give it up to her for, you know, getting the role and mm-hmm. everything. But even displaying a woman that, an uh, actress, I mean, an um, uh, artist mm-hmm. experiencing challenges and then overcoming them, about to kill herself. Right. She's mm-hmm. about to kill herself. Right. Her mother's overbearing, trying to pressure her to be this superstar. Right. And then she meets this guy, Nate. Supposed to be the ultimate love story and for the millennials. Like the b- bodyguard, the new the bodyguard. Body, the new, yeah, the, See, new, the, new yeah body, the new bodyguard. We always, exactly we always resonate back to that mainstream. Let's go ahead and grab this last caller here. Who we got? Latrice. Hi. Hey, thanks so much for calling and supporting the show. Oh, thank you. This is my first time listening, and I'm just addicted. This is fabulous. Thank you. Um, you mentioned, oh, gosh, probably almost 45 so minutes ago that you may have had an issue with that new show on NBC that's kind of like Scandal. Here, here's what I have with that is I'm always mindful of the images that they are putting out. And mm-hmm. if you go to their Facebook page, you know, just like with Scandal, they're putting out the memes. Everybody's putting out the memes. My concern was, um, I thought, because when the first story, when the story, well, the first story that I shared was the fact that uh, in the light of Scandal, here we have a television show where the black woman is going to play the president. But as they put out the images, they're making it as though she is the supporting cast as opposed to the lead actress. Hmm. The uh, the other actress, the white female, and I should probably know her name, which is another hashtag, media apartheid, uh, they're now putting it out that she's the lead actress. And in the imagery, 
uh, what from what Angela Bassett told me about Hollywood is they'll oftentimes make us smaller mm -hmm. and don't allow us to make eye contact in these images. So they put out an image the other day and I tweeted back, that's not going to fly. That's media apartheid. Uh, and so then they put out, they came back with another one with both of the women making eye contact, but she was still kind of in the background. So that tells me as a black woman, um, even though Scandal is running Hollywood right now, I'm still not fully in the demographic for this new show. I'm not in the demographic on NBC. Okay, go ahead with your comment though. Um, no, I actually agree with you. I've been watching, I've seen the commercials, and the actress you're referring to is Katherine Heigl from, right. um, she used to be on Grey's Anatomy. Right. And I was confused because you watch the show, excuse me, you watch the commercial, and it did mention that it's a black president, mm -hmm. but you have the images of this white woman constantly on mm -hmm. there. I'm like, well, where is the black president? And you mm -hmm. are correct. She looks like the help. She's they showed exactly. her for just maybe three or four seconds with one line. Most of the images are about Katherine um, Heigl. Right. And I guess as a black woman, I would protest. I and that's think what we we're doing. Create so, a Twitter campaign about that. Like, if you're going to do a show on a black woman, why you got a, um, the other star? Which is not a problem. If she's a star, that's fine. But it doesn't yeah. make sense. It, may, it doesn't make sense. And thanks so much. But there is a campaign. Go out there and use the hashtag Media Apartheid. Go to at NBC because I mean it's fine if if this and this is part of my rant as we get ready to get out of here. Uh, if if it's Katherine Heigl's show. If you want Katherine Heigl's audience, and I'm not in the demographic, I appreciate you letting me know. Because those images that they are putting out on their Facebook page says, Yolanda, this, this ain't a show for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, ain't, this just ain't a show for you. Because I require that black actresses make eye contact with me. Right. Remember I had to do the whole issue against Essence Magazine because the black women in the ads weren't making eye contact. All right, the conversation is continuing. Stacey J at Stacey, S-T-A-C-E-Y-J. Right, 40. 40. For Instagram. For Instagram. And where else? And um, Twitter is I am underscore Stacey J. And my website is StaceyJENT.com. All right. And B Night Rider has moved to D.C. <laughs> in the coldest time. Oh, my gosh. But uh, tell everybody how to follow you to D.C. All right. You can follow me on anything Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at B Night Rider. That's B Night Rider, W R I T E R. All right, y'all, and you just got the buzz behind the buzz with Dryer Buzz on W-A-O-K. The conversation continues. Just use the hashtag Dryer Buzz. Oh, next Sunday is our fourth Sunday. As you know, that's our, our Arts and Culture Sunday. It's time for all the holiday shows. So the cast, the crew, director, musical director, is all. everybody's going to fill up the studio with the cast of Black Nativity. And then, of course, don't forget November, November 30th, the big tailgate. We're headed over to the Dome, the Yellow Lot, taking over the Yellow Lot with the AT. Falcoholics. It's the party. We're welcoming Dry Your Buzz. We started out, we kicked off our first show over there. And so now we're going over. It's, is it going to be cold? Oh my God. We need to. <laughs> Look, she, me, she don't want to go. She wants to stay in the studio now. I got to be out there broadcasting for three hours during the game. Uh, but tailgate, look, I'm going to have something good to drink. Let me just tell you. And the food is off the chain. If you have not uh, found and favored a tailgate group, get on that. If you're looking for a tailgate, tailgate group, because apparently we're on a winning streak. So you need to come out November 30th in the yellow lot. We'll look for the yellow lot. Just follow the sounds of Big Sweet hanging with Coop and the ATL Falcoholics. All right, I'm going to jump in Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. I'm going to continue this conversation. I thank everybody for listening and supporting the show. And we'll talk to you next week on Dryer Buzz on WAOK. -OK. <laughs> all right, listen, V103 and D Y'all know it's, it's the holiday season. V103 and WAOK are teaming up with Hosea Feed the Hungry to stand in the gap for nearly 20,000 families. That's funny because I just tweeted stand in the gap this morning. Oh, my God. See, God be trying to tell you something. Okay. Individuals and working families who are less fortunate as communities around the world prepare to celebrate the upcoming holiday season on Thursday, November the 20th, the People Station, V103 and News and Talk. 1380 WAOK will broadcast live simultaneously from two Kroger locations that's 3093 Steve Reynolds Boulevard in Duluth and 965 North Harrison Road in Stone Mountain from 
6 a.m. to 9 p.m. All Atlanta residents and surrounding communities are asked to come out and donate turkeys, hams, non-perishable food items, clothing, and monetary donations. To make your donations, log on to v-103.com, waok.com. And it's brought to you by 1-800-411-PAIN, the law offices of Canner and Pigatilugo. Kroger, great food, low prices. Jose, I feed the hungry. News and talk, 1380 WAOK. All right, y'all, have a great weekend. Dry your buzz on WAOK. Spread the buzz. News and talk, 1380 WAOK. WAOK Atlanta. WVEEHT3. News and talk, 1380 WAOK.